Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zain Ali from the Department of Biodiversity Biochemistry. Today I am going to present my lab presentation, Principle of Chemistry One Lab. My topic is finding the cell potential by the Nernas equation. In this experiment, we use voltmeter to find the cell potential, reduction potential, and oxidation potential of different cells, different electrolytic cells. First of all, a voltmeter is used to study the relative reduction potential of various metals and the concentration depends upon the voltage in the concentration cells. The solubility of silver halide will be determined by measuring the voltage of concentrated solution against the standard solution of silver ions. We use uh, to compare the other solution with the standard solution which is silver ion solutions. By this method, we study and find the solubility values of KSP, which is called KSP values for aluminum chloride, uh, silver bromide, silver iodide will be converted. Before we go into the experiment, we see what is the background of this experiment. The primary measurement in the electrochemistry is the voltage of an electrochemical cell. The voltage describes the relative energies of the electron into different atoms or ions. The energy difference or potential difference between two electrons is measured in volts, joules per coulomb. The electrons may be on two ends of the wire, on two atoms, or on the cathode and anode of the battery, having the potential difference. An oxidation reduction or redox reaction is a chemical reaction in which one or more electrons from one molecule or atoms are transferred to another. The thermodynamics can predict if electron would prefer to be transferred from one species to another based on the free energy changes in the system. There is an example of the background knowledge that we discussed in the previous slide. For example, the electrons are more stable on the copper than zinc. So if a piece of zinc is placed in the copper solution, the electrons will be spontaneously transferred from zinc to copper where they are more stable. As you can see, <clears throat> there are plus two charge on copper and zinc have electrons. The electrons transfer from zinc to copper. This is the actual experiment how we can calculate the cell potential. The cell voltage is proportional to change in G. Here, what is the change, uh, change in G? Uh, del G is the change in the Gibbs free energy. This is the term used in the thermodynamics. The change in Gibbs free energy of the reaction could be harnessed to useful electrical work. The value of Gibbs free energy is given by this thermodynamic equation. This is a famous thermodynamic equation we have already. Change in Gibbs free energy is equal to original change in Gibbs free energy plus RT which is the gas constant. <coughs> These are temperature in Q. Q means uh, heat. Change in Gibbs free energy not is change in the Gibbs free energy for the process when all the reactant products in their standard states. This is the original state change in G naught is <coughs> represent, represent the standard state of all reactants and the products. For gases, the standard state is the pressure at 1 atm, pressure or ions in the solution in 1 mole per liter. The standard state of solid and liquid solvents are pure solid or liquids. Q is the reaction quotient of the reaction. Q has the same from as equilibrium constant.
are instantaneous values in the non equilibrium reaction vessel rather than a set of values that recognize the equilibrium. The relationship between the cell voltage E and the change in deep free energy for the cell reaction is given by the following equations. Change in deep free energy is equal to NFE or E is equal to minus change in deep free energy divided by NF. The end of term is related to coulombs of the negative charge transferred in the balanced redox reaction. The number of moles of electrons transferred is given by Nf is M. F is the Faraday's constant, which is the total charge in coulomb or mole of electrons. Next is another situation from which we can calculate the potential of different cells. A process will spontaneously occur if there is a decrease in the free energy G or change in deep free energy less than zero. From equation three that we discussed in the early slides implies spontaneously is associated with a positive G. If equation three and equation four that we see in the previous slide, using equation two, the result is the null equation. If we use equation two and three, this result in the equation that is called the null equation. In this, uh, that is the null equation that is E is equal to E naught minus R T N F in Q. And Q, we know uh, what is Q. Q is the quotient that tells us the rate of the reaction. The Nana situation include a term that reflects the potential difference changing changes between the products and the reactants under the standard conditions. E naught and the term account for non-standard reactions. This implies for the special case of the cells at 25 degrees Celsius and using 2.303 log 10x is equal to log x in x e is equal to e naught minus 0 0.591 volts <coughs> n log 10 and q e is the voltage measured for cell e naught is the voltage measured when q is equal to 1 means when the action is not started the value of 0 0.059 is the same for all cells at 25 degrees Celsius. E0 is also related to electrons and energy difference of oxidation and induction reactions. E0 <coughs> is equal to E0 1 by 2 reduction minus E0 1 by 2 oxidation is equal to E0 1 by 2 cathode minus E0 1, 2, 1 by 2 anode. In this way, we can calculate the uh, cell potential before and after the reaction. E naught 1 by 2 reduction is a standard reduction of potential of the reduction reaction and one E naught 1 by 2 oxidation is the reduction of potential of the oxidation reaction. For spontaneous reaction, the, spe <coughs> the species with the most positive value of E naught 1 by 2 will be reduced and the other species will be oxidized. If the concentration of the reactants and the products are those characteristics of chemical equilibrium, then it is not possible to get any useful electrical work from the cell. E equal to zero setting. E is equal to zero. Uh, By another situation, we can find these different reduction potential of magnesium, zinc, nickel, lead, copper, and silver. The reduction potential of magnesium is minus 2.37. The reduction potential of zinc is minus 0 0.76. The reduction potential of nickel is 0. minus 0 0.23. The reduction potential of lead is minus 0 0.13. The reduction potential of copper is 0 plus 0 0.34 and the reduction potential of silver is plus 0 0.80. Now we discuss what the result we get from this experiment. A measured for various metal relative to copper, i.e. Q, 
Cu M1 P0 cell predicts using the metal other than the copper. Part two data and the search table if done. C1 0.10 molar C2 merge and the log C2 by C1. The graph E versus log C2 or C1 determines the slope that and the results. <coughs> I measured C silver plus TSP bar, silver chloride, silver bromide, and ammonium, silver iodide, and the Gibbs free energy for all these. This is the conclusion. Does the measured agree with the predicts for the various metals? Yes. Does the slope agree with the slope predicted by the Nernst equation? The slope that we calculate from this method uh, predicted by the Nernst equation is good. Even though the cell potential are affected by both concentration difference and the voltage difference between the different metals. You are able to determine the dependence on each. <coughs> Thanks for your attention. Have a nice day.